society. Our topic for this morning is replenishing your life. Replenishing your life. Is there any time you have regretted a foolish decision? Is there any time you thought you made a mistake of which you are ashamed of? Is there any time you felt, oh, I should have not done it? Or I should have not had the relationship with the person? Is there any time you made a blunder and finding it hard to learn the right thing? Today, my friends, God is inviting you to replenish your life. Let us read Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6 and 7. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk uprightly. My friends, why would you need wisdom? I would like to give uh, three suggestions from Proverbs second chapter. Today, if you are struggling to take a decision, if you are struggling to discern people, let's learn from Proverbs second chapter the three suggestions that King Solomon, the wise man, give us. Suggestion number one, Proverbs chapter 2 verse 5 says, God is inviting you to ask for wisdom so that you will know who is your God. So the first suggestion is, you need a wisdom to know who is your God and how to fear him because he is your shield and your buckler. Suggestion number two, why you need wisdom. Proverbs chapter 2 verse 11 says, God is asking you to pray for wisdom so that that wisdom will preserve and keep you. And number 3, Proverbs chapter 2 verse 16 and 17 say, God is asking you to pray for wisdom so that your marriage will be protected. So number one, you know you are God and you fear him. And number two, it says that wisdom will preserve and keep you. And number three, your marriage will be protected and your family integrity will be sustained. My brethren, if you are still struggling to take a right decision, if you are still struggling to understand people, if you are still struggling to maintain your marriage vows, here is the prophecy for you from James chapter 1. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. Remember, my friends, Jesus is your wisdom. Jesus is your life. Trust him in all your ways and he will exalt you. So this morning, you need wisdom for three reasons. Number one, God's wisdom will help you to understand he is your God and you fear him. And number two, that wisdom will preserve and protect you. And number three, you need God's wisdom to protect your marriage vows. God bless you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, there are many times we make mistake in our workplace, in ourselves, in our families. And because of that, families are separated. We lose our job. We lose our respect and integrity. Now we need wisdom, dear Lord. We need knowledge. And we thank you that you always provide wisdom. Your wisdom will help us to understand you. 
your wisdom will help us to understand that we are protected and preserved in your hand and we need your wisdom so that our marriage and the marriage vows will be sustained by your power thank you so much for this wonderful promises in jesus mighty name we pray with thanksgiving amen and amen god bless you